Okay, I've just loaded a new video. This is a uh, bottle of milk being poured into a cup. And what I want to do is capture the milk. Now let me point out something here too. When you're looking at photos and you're selecting, um, I'm doing this as, a, as an example. Um, it probably isn't the best type of image to use because there's really not enough contrast. If you take a look at the, if you take a look at the background, this is you know white on white. And a white on white background doesn't give you the kind of contrast you really need, but it's a very, very good uh, video to use to practice our craft at uh, creating a flick graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a, a section here of the video where the milk is being poured. All right. And uh, something like that. And then I'm going to select it. I'm going to lock it and then pick a frame for our still frame somewhere. I kind of like that one. All right, I'm gonna lock that. That gives us our camera to actually take the still shot. And then I am going to erase this section over here where the milk is pouring and then everything else should be still. So here are our settings, it's on erase. The size relates to the size of my brush here. Again, I can make it real, real big if I want, but then I'm gonna, you know, reach into areas I don't want to affect. So I'm gonna bring that down a bunch. Um, I'm gonna leave the other default settings pretty much where they are, opacity, smoothness. I, I mean, they really work for most of my cases here. So I'm going to just erase. What I'm erasing again is the, um, is the still image and it's letting the video kind of bleed through and, uh, and that's what that does. So let's see what that looks like now. See, that that's the only part that's showing. To export, that's the only part in motion. To export, I am going to export this as a GIF. Um, you know, one of the things I've been playing with and experimenting with is the frames per second. You're going to have a much larger file size if you have more frames per second. I do see that a lot of the people who are working with this are working with um, 20 to 24 frames per second. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to make this one a 20. All right. I'm going to export it as a GIF, as a 20. And then I'm also going to export it as a 10. And I will have both of those images side by side on our training page and you can judge for yourself and then we can, you know, make some determinations moving forward about best practices. Um, what I'm told is that the best practice for exporting an MP4 is 24 frames per second and that a GIF is 10. So here I'm going to bring this one down to 10. I'm going to rename my file milk 10 and I'm going to export that and I will share that on our training page. Now this a raw video is yours as one of our bonuses with with everything else that uh, I'm providing as a bonus for FlickGraph. So you'll get access to a training area where I go through these one at a time and then we will take a look at them afterward. All right.